Now that we have our products in place that we're working with today, let's look at some links and scenes. What is a link? A link is a UPB command that we can customize to send a signal from a keypad to switches or other devices. In this case here, I'm looking at link one. Link one is using the on button. I can actually double click on it. I can see that I'm using the on button to turn something on. Link one is now going to have the WS1D switches go to 100% at the default rate. The default rate being 1.6 seconds. Out of the box, our switches have link 1, 100% on, link 2, 0%, link 3, 80%, link 4, 60%, link 5, 40%, link 6, 20%, and link 8 is our blink link. To modify any of the links, all we do is double click on the little icon. So here I have link 2, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name. A scene just equals a link. So link two, which is all off, I'm going to actually rename it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename it all off. That means that any device attached down here in the lower part is going to turn off. Any device up on top, in this case here the off button, is going to activate the all off link. Very simple. all on. On link 3, I can double click on a device and see what it's set up to do. This one is preset for 80% on. It's very easy to start renaming your links and customize it any way you want. Now you can have movie time, theater time, anything you want to do. Now let's add a link. We are preset with links 1 through 6 and then 8. Well let's add some more links because each one of my switches and devices can be programmed to respond to up to 16 different links. So I can either Go right here on top where the little icon shows links plus, or I can go to links, I can say add a link. When you add a link, it automatically goes to the next number in the set of links, but you can also name it. So let's call this one theater time. The next link, we're going to call that good night. And this one will call Romance. So now on our list, remember we have our visual tree on the left hand side. We can now scroll down and we see we have some new links put in. We have the Goodnight link, we have Romance, and we have Theater. These do go in numerical order. So as you name them, they will go in numerical order based on the name. If I look at my Goodnight link, double click on it. I can see right now I have nothing set. So let's add some devices. Here in my rooms, I have my upstart training room. I have my switches, the northwest wall, right switch, center switch. I look at my device here, which is the keypad. In my rooms, I see my upstart training room. Now I need to add a keypad up here so I can activate the good night scene. I'm going to grab the keypad by holding the left mouse button down. I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to release it. 
That opens up the link editor, transmit components and receive components. Well, I'm going to transmit, so I'm going to hit the transmit button, and I'm going to use the button D for my good night. Now it's already set up for link 6, but I'm going to reassign it. Now the D button will activate my good night scene. I can change what type of button I have. Right now it's a link activator. So one push activates the link. I can change that from link activator to a toggle button. You can read and see what the different buttons will do. In this case here, tapping the button toggles between activating and deactivating the link, turning it on and off. A super toggler, tap the button and it will activate and deactivate the link. Hold the button will brighten or dim the link. So if the lights are off and I hold the button down, that will dim them up, the entire scene. If, I, if it's already on and I push and hold the button, that will dim them down. I can make it just an off button, an on button, a bright button, anything you want to do. So I'm just going to make it a toggle button to make it very simple. And we're going to hit OK. So the D button, when I push that button, will now turn on the good night scene. Well, what switches do we want to affect? So I'm going to grab my first one here, drag it to the bottom. And we're going to say on the receive components, because now it's receiving a code, what do I want the switch to do? Well, let's say on this switch, I can either use my scale here to move it over, or I can use my pull down. And I'm going to set this particular switch up at 20% as like my, nap, my night light. And right now it's set for a rate of snap, which means instantly it'll turn on and off. But we can change that. 0.8 seconds, 1.6, 3.3, all the way up to one hour. So let's say this is in my kids' room. And I'm going to give them 30 minutes. This light is going to uh, slowly dim down to 20% over 30 minutes. That means they can be a little brighter and it slowly gets dimmer so they don't go to bed when it's totally dark. And click OK. I can take the next switch, drag it down, and I'm going to go ahead, this one's out maybe out in the main room of the house, and I'll set this one at 30% so people can see. This one doesn't have to be set on snap, and yeah, we might just keep it at 1.6 seconds just for a nice turn down to 30%, or turn up. And the center switch, I'll drag it down here. And I'll go ahead and leave that at 0%. And there again, I'll let it dim down. And that's literally all we do. Now, once you have everything set the way you want, you right click on the link and you. Say complete edit. Once you made modifications, you can program everything. Uh, yes, you can do that. You don't have to. If you do go and program it, it's going to save the information. So if your file has been saved, now it's really saved. You don't have to worry about losing it if Windows uh, shuts down. You can see as it's working, the yellow ones are getting ready to be programmed. The yellow one is being programmed. The blue one is successful and ready to go. You can see the signals being sent here on the bottom, so you can always watch your signal meter to make sure you're getting good communication. And now we're all set. And you notice all my switches are now blue, everyone's happy. Another way of programming your links is of course we're going to add the links. So we've already come up here, we've added a link, we've given it a name. And we've added it in, into our string of links. So now we have good morning, we have good night, romance, theater time. We already went through and we double clicked on a link and we added switches, we added devices by dragging them over. And we right clicked on the link to be able to complete the edit. Now here I can program, I can activate the link, deactivate the link. Uh, you, you can do several different things from upstart. 
Now that we've added some links, and we've used the visual editor, meaning we're able to click here on the links on the left hand side, double click on an icon, bring up your visual editor, see your link and see what each one does. Well, let's now look at the second way of adding devices to links. We're still going to use the add a link feature. And we're going to use a different link here we haven't used thus far called theater time. Theater time normally when you're going to watch a movie, you want to change the lights, bring down a screen. I'm going to double click on the room, and in that room I have these devices I'm going to control. Now we're going to have a link that says theater time. All I have to do is go to a keypad, double click on it, and because the keypad is transmitting a signal, I'm going to go to transmit components. And on the transmit components, I can see what links are already preset in this keypad. So right now the on button is all on, all off. A button, good morning, that we built. Uh, the B button, C, good night, and the up and down buttons, which are dimming up and dimming down the last link. In this case here, I'm going to go to the B button, which is link 4 currently, and I'm going to change that. All I do is go to the pull down screen, and I'm going to make it theater time. I can now go to the mode button, and I can change it to a different type of button. I'm going to make the button a super toggler. That means when you tap the button once, it activates the link. Tap it again, it deactivates it. If I hold the button down, it'll toggle between brightening and dimming the link depending on what mode it was in. So if it was off, I can hold the button down, it'll brighten it. If it was on and I hold it down, it'll dim the link. And that's all the lights in the link. And you can see here what it does. Single tap activate, double tap snap on. Hold, fade up, release, fade, stop. Then I go to each of the switches. I see which switch do I want to control. Because now these are switches. This is receiving the signal from the keypad. On the receive components, I can see what links are already built in. I have eight different links currently in line. I'm going to go to position number nine here. I'm going to put in theater time. Oh, I drop down. Yes, I can push test and I can test the light. And what do you want the light to do? Well, if it's theater time with this particular light, I want the level to drop down to 10%. And we're going to go ahead and do it in about 10 seconds. And OK. And of course, remember now that I've made some changes, the line turns red until I program everything. And I can do the same thing with all the other lights. Go to my receive component, add in my theater time, tell the light what I would like to be able to do, how long it would like to take to do it. Not overly difficult. This one will assume is in the back. We'll make this one slightly higher. Now that we've built the link, you can actually use the visual editor. So I can go down here to theater time, double click on it, and I can see that I have the B button. It's going to control these three devices, and we can see what everything's going to do by double clicking on them. Very simple, very easy. Now at this point you either need to program your devices or save the information. I'm just going to save it right now because I'm going to program everything at the very end. So thus far we've created some new links. We've renamed them into actual scenes. And remember, they can be scenes that can control multiple devices. 
or they can control individual devices. You could have a button control a single device or a single light. The other thing we're going to discuss is going to be tracking, LED tracking. Currently here on my theater time, I have the B button set to activate. Now my question is, and I'm going to go up here to the devices, I'm going to go to my keypad, and I'm going to look at my receive components. All my receive components on the keypad, this is telling me what happens when I push a specific button. But you notice when I push these different buttons, which ones turn on? So for example, on the all on, the on button, the LED light for the on button turns on, the off button goes opposite. All the other buttons turn off. Well, we've added a few more scenes to this keypad. Number one, we have our theater time. And we were using the B button for our theater time, so I'm going to tell it to turn on. So when I push the B button, I want the B button to turn on. The question is, what do you want the other lights to do? You want them to be no change, so let's say I have everything on, all on. Do I want that button to stay on if the lights are all on when I hit the theater? Do I want to keep the theater separate? This is part of LED tracking. If that LED is on, the keypad thinks that the link is still activated, the scene is still activated. So in my theater room here, theater time is on. When I go to push this button again and turns the LED light off, it'll turn the link off. If my 80% on is already activated, so if my A button is already lit and I hit my theater button, if there's no change, it's going to stay lit. That means the next time I push that 80% on button, it's going to now turn off the LED light because it was already on. It'll turn off the link. So here is where you choose what you want these LED lights to do. On my good night scene, I want to turn off multiple lights because it's now good night. My good night scene is set up on D. So I'm going to have that one on. And I want all the other lights to turn off. In my theater room, I want my theater light to turn on but the other lights can still stay where they're at. They can be in different modes. These different modes are very important when we start using other keypads like the 8-button keypad.